Hey, how's it going guys? Jack and Matty with the Toasty Bros, and today we're going to be building an $800 gaming PC that will not only play eSports titles pretty much maxed out, but it'll also play AAA titles. What we have right here is a PC featuring the RX 5700 XT, which we did make a dedicated benchmarking video on. If you want to see that, hit the on the top right corner, but this card is such a good value on the used market that we had to do a PC build guide around it, and what we have right here is a pretty awesome PC. But before we dive into it, let's hear a word from today's sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by our friends at Team Group and their T4 Delta RGB DDR5 memory featuring blazing fast speeds up to 7200 megahertz, capacities up to 32 gigabytes, a beautiful RGB design that we've come to know and love, and can be had in either black or white to match your next gen gaming PC build. Now if you're looking to save some money or RGB isn't your thing, you can pick up their Elite Plus DDR5 memory with speeds up to 4800 megahertz and capacities up to 32 gigabytes, with a very sleek design that is also very cost effective to get you into DDR5 on a budget. To learn more about both of these RAM kits, be sure to check the link down below. And big thanks again to our friends at Team Group for sponsoring today's video. So with this build, we're going for some nice latest and greatest with just the graphics card being used because we think at the current price point, it's really a no-brainer. It's one of the best GPUs you can get at the price. And the build's fully upgradable. So if you decide, hey, I want to upgrade the GPU or hey, I want to upgrade the CPU, we made sure to go with the latest and greatest so you're on the current platform. So yeah, what we're going to go ahead and do is talk about each individual part and how it makes up this PC build, dive into some fun in and exciting benchmarks and uh, then wrap this video up real quick. So for the CPU, we have the Intel i5-12400F. This is a six core 12 threaded processor that's on the 12 trim platform. So with the motherboard we're gonna be pairing it with, you could technically go 13th gen if you wanted to, but hey, they don't really have a whole lot of budget options out right now for us broke boys. And speaking of that motherboard, we have the Asus Prime B660A D4. So keep in mind, you can still pick between DDR4 and DDR5 motherboards. So you could modify this build a little bit if you wanna go DDR5, but we kind of thought, eh, I mean, it's an $800 budget and you don't really see a huge performance gain from DDR4 to DDR5. Now for the RAM, we have this XPG Spectrix D60G RAM, which is 3600 megahertz, 16 gigs of RAM. And this is a nice 12 gen processor, so you can really go with some fast speeds if you want to. Um, RGB as well, we accidentally got the white RAM. I think we meant to order black, but hey, it'll kind of stand out. It'll look cool in the build, so why not? Now one of the nice parts about 12 gen, even if you buy a 12 gen i3, they all support gen four out of the box as long as you get the right board and you have to, because it's 12 gen, so B660. <laughs> They all support Gen 4, so we're like, why not? Let's get a one terabyte Gen 4 SSD. They're getting so cheap that it's just like a no-brainer. I mean, you might spend an extra $20 to get Gen 4, and you're getting some blazing fast speeds with that. Now for the graphics card. This is the XFX RX 5700 XT. Now, this card is great on the used market because you can get it around 170 to sometimes 160 bucks. At that price point, it's an absolute steal. Now, if you are looking to buy new and you don't really want to deal with the used market, the RX 6600 is coming down in price. You can get them for like 220 bucks sometimes, sometimes even less, and that would be a very comparable card to this one on the new market, but we're very excited to showcase this card in particular because we did a whole video on it, and we're very excited of the used price performance that the 5000 series AMD GPU line does offer right now. Now for the power supply. I was having trouble finding a power supply I wanted to go with, but this one's a pretty good uh, solution here. The Thermal Take Tough Power Series, a 650 watt, 80 plus gold power supply, more than enough power for this PC build and upgrades in the future. That's the big thing with a system like this. You wanna have upgrade room in the future for a better GPU and uh, yeah, you always have a good CPU to upgrade the GPU if you wanted to, but yeah, 650 watts, very reliable unit. Now this case right here is a new one. I gotta refer to my PCBros.tech build sheet by PCs from PC Bros. This one is a Spectra C101 one from Roswell. So uh, I saw this case, it's 80 bucks, comes with three RGB fans, has this uh, little, well, that was very loud, but it has a little handle right here. It's like, ooh, it swivels out. Big fans up front. They're actually, looks like 140s. Some 140s here and a 120 in the back with RGB. And yeah, 80 bucks. I think that's a pretty good deal for a MicroTX case with RGB built in. It's a new one. There were like no ratings on it. So we're giving you all a rating now by building in it. I'm very excited to see how this build turns out. Let's do it.
All right, guys, we're playing Apex Legends at high settings, 1080p. And, and he's just popped his my scan. <laughs> Yeehaw. But yeah, we're getting well over 144 already, which I'm hyped about. The competitive edge that I need on my 60 hertz monitor. Oh, man. Gravy, baby. You're insane. Oh, you're insane. Oh, you're yep. insane. Oh. Oh. oh! oh, your teammate got him. Go. Yes. Ah. Oh no! no. They took it. it. They took it. But performance <laughs> beautiful. Apex Legends. We're looking good. Let's move on, baby. All right, gamers. We're in Fortnite. These are the settings, and we're gonna play. That's <laughs> what we're doing. We're running Fortnite on these settings. We're more testing the 12400F than anything. I mean, the GPU is only being used like 30% right now. Um, but you know what? <laughs> so is the 12400. So is the 12400. <laughs> so is this really even being used at all? I don't know, but we're gonna go ahead and drop. And um, yeah, I don't know if there's another update in Fortnite. Fortnite <laughs> gets really smooth and then it does another update and it gets a little less smooth. So I, don't, I think our like $200 PC we built recently did better. I, 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 I don't know, man, Fortnite. Oh, bro, crazy. No, I only have 10 bullets. Chase him down. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's still number one. Woo! Bro, yeah, oh, there we go. Oh, someone's shooting, shooting at him. Oh, they don't even know where you're at. Oh, they killed each other. Oh, I hear a car. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, they got out. I don't think they know where you're at. Oh, I have zero bullets left. Dude, that guy's healing up. <laughs> All for naught, brother. All of that for nothing. Buddy, you can build. Man, and I just like used all my ammo. Oh, he hit a shot. Oh! Oh, he hits his shots, dude. Wow, what a guy. But yeah, Fortnite, decently playable. Again, with weird updates in Fortnite, I don't even know what settings are on anymore, but you professional Fortnite gamers know what to do. Um, now that we've played two of these great games, we're gonna run some built-in benchmarks and uh, wrap this video up real quick. All right, guys, we just got done benchmarking the 5700 XT gaming PC that was around 800 bucks, and we definitely think you're getting a lot of bang for buck. The fact that you can play AAA titles, eSports titles at 1440p and get higher refresh rate is pretty amazing. Yeah, this PC overall is a really good value. Now, of course, if you want to go new market for the GPU, RX 6600 and 6600 XT is a good option, but most of the time you will get this card still used for about $30 to $40 cheaper, so ultimately up to you, but we'll leave some links down below. There'll be affiliate links and they will help us out. Uh, that'll take you to Amazon Newegg or a couple other retailers. You can buy these PC parts at the best prices. And I do have to give a shout out to Roswell. This is a really cool case, 80 bucks. Hopefully it stays in stock. I think it's gonna be a pretty cool micro ATX case that you can use in your gaming PC. So as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash toasty bros. And do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. You guys see this shirt right here? Yeah, that's right. I'm repping PCBros.tech today and you can buy this PC from this shirt.
from that shirt specifically. It literally, that PC right there is this PC. Just kidding, that has three fans, but PC Bros. Hot Tags, where we sell gaming PCs, gaming laptops, and so much more. And if you use code Toasty Bros. 200, you're going to save 2%, maybe on this PC. We're going to be selling this one pretty close to cost. See you guys later. Goodbye. Peace out.